Why do people say that sons are easier to raise than daughters? No idea. I have both and both have their equally as difficult moments. I suspect it is that girls can get pregnant out of wedlock and boys can't. I have a 3 yo girl and 2 yo boy. So I'm not that experienced yet. But at this point the girl has been much easier. Our boy tries to kill himself almost every waking hour. He's big and strong and if you don't keep an eye on him he'll find a way to hurt himself. It's exhausting. People keep saying it flips in the teen years. We'll see. In my opinion, it has a lot to do with how boys, yug men are taught to act. Stop crying. Be a man. Suck it up. Essentially hide your emotions and be a stoic brick wall if you want to be a man. This leads to a lot of parents mistaking borderline emotional neglect as easier parenting, young. Boys don't have problems because problems are weak and weakness is unacceptable in men to many. Toxic parents in the world. Also the old adage boys will be boys can basically translate to I am not dealing with this. I'll just use this socially accepted excuse for my child's behavior. On the flip side of this women are allowed to be emotionally vulnerable and protected meaning there. Problems, emotions, feelings should be addressed. So you are expected to actually put effort into daughters. Work through Thier problems. Care about who Thier dating. Make it an unnecessarily huge deal when they sleep with some for the first time. Keep the flower pretty so to speak. So often a disperpatiante amount of attention goes into daughters causing the false pretense they are harder to raise when in reality you are over parenting one and neglecting the other. TL. Dr. Emo comes from the archaic ideal that men must be strong and stoic to look after and protect to meek and emotional women. Because we live in a culture that is abusively controlling of girls and abusively emotionally neglectful of boys. Because they ignore mental health issues in boys and teach them from a young age to suppress their feelings. Boys are supposed to be simple individuals with simple needs and interests and not the same complex individuals that girls are. It's just good old-fashioned sexism. They're wrong. Kids in general are hard to raise. Especially if you have multiple children. I have raised two of my siblings while raising myself. One brother. And one who was assigned female at birth. Now FTM. And I have a son of my own. No two kids are the exact same. Even from the same parents. It's a constant juggling act while balancing spinning plates on knives. This kid likes this. But that one hates it. This kid loves to draw. This one loves to run in circles and scream. But that one just wants to hide under their bed. You want to default to what you knew about growing up. But you have to break generational curses while supporting the child. Ren. As fully as human possible while having some energy to spend on yourself. And all of this times 100 if you're a single parent. It isn't boys versus girls. It's you and your child versus the world. All kids are difficult. I've heard the opposite, but I guess it depends. The responsibility of unwanted teen pregnancy is usually 100% on the mother and family, not the boys. That alone is enough, but the cost of girls' clothes is crazy compared to guys who can get by for six. Months on two pairs of jeans and couple t-shirts. Because it's socially acceptable to neglect the boy's emotions and tell him to be a man. Both my son and my daughter were a breeze to raise. It really depends on personality and your relationship with them. I always heard the exact opposite growing up. Girls were supposed to be quiet and soft and easy to handle and boys will be boys. AKA my son is an asshole but that's just how boys are so nothing I can do about lol. It's just sexist stereotypes. It depends on the character and not the sex. 
three boys two girls they each present different challenges. Parenting is hard no matter what gender the child is. Also they are individuals and experience varies. A parent who's had both boys and girls here. But I caveat by saying this is just my personal experience. In general I found boys to be much more straightforward. They could often be very rambunctious but basically they were either obeying or they were disobeying. If there was trouble it was usually something they were doing that they shouldn't be doing and you just had to intervene. Girls on the other hand brought the drama and talk, 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 and debating, not to mention so emotional. So putting that together I would say it honestly depends on your disposition. Dealing with the boys was more physically demanding and dealing with girl was more emotionally demanding. Loved them all though. All but one is grown and we have great relationships smiley face. I've got three daughters and zero sons so I sincerely lack any form of credibility towards this argument. But what I will say is that they have been an absolute pleasure to raise. My girls tend to be more bossy and cheeky than I was as a kid. Me being the only boy kid I can refer to here. But they're fiercely independent and ridiculously clever for their age. I think the increased demand to match that level of energy is what makes people more inclined to say they're difficult. But overall, it's a case-by-case -case basis and it's false to draw such a wide assumption. Some girls are going to be absolute demons to raise and some boys will be really pleasant. The adverse is also true. How a kid behaves as they grow up is mainly dependent on how their parents act. Kids are mirrors of their parents and they will reflect everything you say. I was, I'm a young father. Only being 24. And the attitudes, personalities of each of my daughters is noticeably different. And I can trace that to me and my wife maturing as we got older with them. Our eldest daughter is a bit irrational. Hot-headed and is very much a leader. Our middle daughter is more logical. Rational and mature. Our youngest daughter is observant. Fun-loving and a little bit clingy. If you're an ass of a parent. Then when your kid hits 4 plus years old. They're going to be a difficult kid 95% of the time. If you're mature and patience then those qualities will shine through. Of course there's some genetic element there too. But most babies are just blank canvases. Probably because boys cannot get pregnant. And, you know, all of human history being patriarchal. The answer is pretty simple. They think boys don't need emotional care. Boys don't get pregnant. There is no, easier, to raise gender. It's a sexist comment people say. IDK honestly. People say teenage girls get disrespectful and mean. But EMA teenage boys get easily enraged. I've never heard of a teenage girl punching holes in walls but both my brothers did. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.